Hello, Middle Georgia. Graham Slater here for Dublin Ford Lincoln. Built Ford Tough, it's synonymous with the rugged capability, outstanding performance, and dependability of Ford trucks. Whether it's hauling a big load or getting you to a job site, count on the lineup of versatile, hardworking Ford trucks to work overtime and get the job done. The F-150 is the ultimate work truck. It features impressive torque, capability, and fuel economy. Ford's F-Series, America's best-selling truck for 38 years running. Come see our Ford truck lineup and discover why others call you customer and we call you friend. Welcome back to another episode of Classic Cars. I am Murray McDonald and I have with me today my good friend Mike Brooks. Today we're over in Cochrane, Georgia talking to Mr. Russell Davison and he's going to go over his 1966 Cobra for us today. Mr. Russell has taken this car completely uh, from start and has built it from the ground up. Uh, Mike, would you like to say a few words? I will. I'm, I'm a car guy, and the first question I'd like to ask you, since your wife's not out here, uh, I see 160 on the speedometer. How fast uh, will it go? And I've had it over 100, so I, I really don't know, but, you know, above 100, it starts getting squirrely. I bet it does. How much does it weigh? Uh, less than 3,000 pounds. Yeah. I bet it does. Beautiful, beautiful car. Thank you. What size motor? 302 out of a 90 Mustang. Uh, and I've got uh, three master cylinders hidden under the other fender over there. I've got March pulleys, uh, which are very nice, very expensive. Uh, the transmission's out of a 1988 Mustang, it's a five-speed, uh, you know, works great. Uh, most of these parts came from Summit Racing. Uh, some came from Jegs. Some came from Speedway Motors, uh, but anyway, you know, I tried to, I, I painted the motor myself. It's the same color as the body, and um, it's just a great motor. Those are the March pulleys uh, from Summit Racing. Uh, it's got a reverse flow uh, water pump on it. Uh, I've got uh, MSD ignition in it. Uh, Edelbrock intake, Edelbrock heads, uh, Holly carburetor, <clears throat> but it's uh, it's just a great, great little motor. What year did you start on the car? 2007. <clears throat> At the before I got this, I had a, a 1952 Chevrolet, a 49 Chevrolet, a 46 Ford, and a 31 Ford Roadster. When they were all in different states of disrepair. And so I told my wife, I said, I can sell all that junk and get this. And naturally that didn't work out. But anyway, I did sell all my other cars and I put a deposit down on this. This car came from Street Beast in, out of Miami, Florida. And Street Beast doesn't have the best reputation. They had been Street Beast, CMC, they'd been about four or five different names. And uh, <clears throat> So you put a deposit down, and uh, they said, you put down like $5,000 deposit. They said, well, when you send us a total of 10, then we'll put the car in production. So I sent $5,000, and probably two weeks later, oh, we've got one. We can, we can put it in production right now. And I said, so whatever, and they, uh, the lady says, well, you need to send the rest of the deposit or the rest of the money. I said, what are you talking about? Another ten thousand dollars whatever it was I, no that's not what we agreed on so on uh, Valentine's Day of 2007 I drove to Miami Florida and I, once I got down there I said Lord if you'll let me get out of this place today I'll never come back that was the nastiest place I have ever seen in my life but anyway I got to the factory and got everything you know worked out with them and so uh, I was supposed to have it by March. Well, finally in June it showed up <clears throat> and the waited all day for it to come and every time we'd call the guy that answered the phone he'd say two hours out, two hours out. <clears throat> anyway, um, 
And my wife uh, had came home from work. She says, I think I may have met the guy with your car going over the bridge over here. So I took off and sure enough he came back and he pulled up to this little church right over there. That is the first human I could never speak to. He, he could not speak one word of English, not <laughs> one word. And uh, so uh, anyway, and I wound up having to call Butch Hahn's record service to get it to them to take it from right up where that church is to my house, you know, and it was pathetic. <laughs> now, when they delivered the car, it was just the chassis, correct? Well, it was the body uh, and the frame, you know, and it was all in a crate and all that kind of stuff. And so I had to uncrate it, uh, and that took a while. Anyway, and of course, I thought that I was going to be able to, you know, do this thing all by myself, but I learned pretty quick. I didn't have the tools you know, and stuff to, you know, uh, to really do what, to do it by myself. So uh, uh, I met a friend here in Cochran, uh, Kurt Miller, that lives out the road here. He has Kurt's Rod Shop, and he agreed to, to basically, you know, build the car. I did the motor work uh, on it. I, you know, like I said, I powder coated the intake. I painted the motor and all that. and. Um, Anyway, but we had problems and after problems after problems. The just for example, the brackets that hold the rear end in. Everything's based on a Mustang. It's called like, based on Mustang two suspension. Mm -hmm. All right. So the the brackets for the rear end were not correct. We had to cut the brackets, realign them, reweld them. <clears throat> the brackets for the front <clears throat> that hold the uh, rack and pinion steering they were upside down. Had to cut all that stuff, redo it. The uh, body would never sit down on the frame like it's supposed to in the back. It was sticking up at least an inch and a half. So I had some other friends that live in Warner Robins that they do lots of cars and do fiberglass. So we wound up cutting the trunk out, lowering the body down, and fiberglassing it back in. And probably, and that cost me about $2,000. And probably a week or two after that, I met somebody else that went in cut a pie shape out of the frame, problem solved. So, and that's one thing about doing this car. I've met people all over the country. I've got friends in Oklahoma, New Mexico, because one thing I learned, if one car has the problem, they all have the same problem because Street Beast never changed anything. But, <clears throat> and probably, uh, I'll say 90% of the people that bought one of these cars gave up before they ever got through. And I got to that point at times. I know when I first got started, I had about $18,000 in it. I threw it up on Craigslist. And the guy says, I'll give you 10 for it. And you know, at the time I said, no, nah, no way. But 60 something thousand dollars later, that looked kind of good, you know? So anyway. Would you have any trouble with your drive shaft? Or you no, 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 no. I only got a 14 inch drive shaft, so that's <laughs> almost, yeah, it's almost a direct drive. I mean, yeah, just yeah. visualizing, I can tell the drive shaft can't be very long. Anymore. No, it's not. I mean, really, uh, you're basically sitting on, you're almost sitting right on the rear end, but yeah, it's 14 inches long. So, uh, how many master cylinders is this? Oh, three. I got three master cylinders one for the front brakes, one for the rear brakes, and one for the clutch. Wow. Uh, and they're all tucked under the uh, driver's fender over here you know and it's the even when I go to a car show people don't realize the details that you know we've got all through the, the car uh, but anyway uh, Kurt was uh, he did a great job we uh, you know it, it took a little bit over four years to get done uh, we took it to paint uh, and I think it was in uh, maybe May of 2011. We got it back in June of 2011. And I, my goal was to go to the Wings and Wheels car show. So I thought, well, surely we'll have this thing done by October. Kurt says, no, no, I don't <laughs> think we will. So uh, anyway, it was actually uh, January of 2012. Uh, when I 
finally got it back from him. Then once I got it back from him, I still had to do some other stuff. Mm -hmm. Now, is that a 1966 color scheme? No. Well, I mean, yes, for as uh, the Cobra, you know, the, I mean, that's what a lot of some of that. But the color is a, it's called Speedway Blue Metallic. And it was, it first came out on the 2005 Toyota Tacomas trucks. And when I saw that blue, I said, that's the color. Because mm -hmm. when it's out in the sun, it just it's just incredible, the color that it does. Uh, so, but anyway, uh, but yeah, I love that color combination. And women just go crazy over it. They do. <laughs> does the uh, 21 mean anything? Yes, it does. They, uh, when I was uh, in high school, I graduated in 1968, but I worked for uh, Buddy and e. Smith Motors that was in downtown Cochrane at the time. Anyway, uh, I was a mechanic down there. Uh, I was doing DCT through the school anyway. Uh, it was my day off from school and uh, when the 1968, when the 428 uh, uh, Cobra Jet Cyclones came out, the Ford salesman came down with one, number 21, Kale Yarber. I mean, it looked about like my car, you know, it had all the decals. He said, do you want to take it for a ride? He threw me the keys. I'm 17 years old. Sure, I'll take it for a ride. So naturally, I cruised through the college. And uh, <laughs> anyway, come out of the college, and uh, there's a group of guys standing on the corner. So I just put the pedal to the metal, come over the bridge. And I was probably doing at least 120 at the bottom of the bridge. <clears throat> and so that's why the number 21. Uh, you know, it's just an uh, honor for that, you know. That was a good choice. Yeah. I've done the same thing. Yeah. So. Uh, What's the longest trip you've took in it? Uh, probably making. I mean, well, as far as driving it, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll drive it, you know, 40, maybe 50 miles, but I'm always worried about something or somebody hitting it because you can barely get a softball on the front end of it. And so if I go very far, uh, I take my trailer. I have gone to Plains. I've been over there twice. I went to Swainsboro, uh, Macon, uh, driving over to uh, to Dublin uh, to their shows, and I enjoy going over there. I, you know, I love all the local shows, uh, but I do hope to branch out, uh, go a little bit further. My wife's retired now, so maybe we can find one a little bit further down the road because, you know, I've been to all the shows around here, and I'd like to go somewhere I've never been. Um, anyway. No, somewhere a little cooler. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Yeah, I have a story to tell you about Mini Me uh, at the first car show when we get to that point. But uh, anyway, and so I tried to make it uh, as close to anything Shelby ever put out. You know, I made everything the best that it could be, and I've got about $62,000 in it. Wow. The paint job was $8,000, and... Uh, uh, Jodeco Auto Body, which is two boxes up from Summit Racing, they did it. Uh, Bruce Bunn that owns that, he's famous for doing Cobra paint jobs, so that's why I had him paint it, because uh, everyone he's ever done has been, you know, really nice. So, well, It's a very beautiful car. Yeah, thank you. How you about options? Has it got, as far as uh, something, uh, maybe option-wise? Yeah, I've got electric uh, heated seats. Uh, that's it. No radio, no radio because people tell you if you need a radio, your side pipes are too quiet. Yeah, exactly so, right. But uh, I loved uh, the way it drives. I've got coilover shocks in all four corners. Uh, and the, uh, the rear shocks came from a guy out in Louisiana that builds, car, you know, builds shocks for drag racing. I mean, it's, this car is made to launch. It's not going to sit there and spin the tires. It's going to go. And uh, anyway, but uh, that's about it. Uh, you know, I did put the dual roll bars because my wife said, you know, she's going to ride in it. She wants a roll bar. Yep. And uh, although she doesn't care to ride <laughs> ride with me much, so I just get too crazy with it. So. Well, you definitely need them heated seats with no top on. Oh, absolutely, yeah. <laughs> I mean, really, yeah. And I did get caught one time in Warner Robins. It was in uh, November. At a car show, they said 100% no chance of rain today. Five minutes before the show is over, boosh, and I got wet, the car got wet, and so then I had to drive home and I about froze. I mean, it was just, it was, it was 
bad. Well, let's take a look under the hood. Okay. Oconee Fall Line Technical College. Are you ready? Like I say, I powder coated the intake and got March pulleys on the front of it. I didn't really intend to do that. I mean, they're like 1300 bucks, but you know, it made the motor look good and worked out fine for, you know, what I wanted to do. Um, got a low car uh, throttle cable got a low car dipstick and uh, anyway uh, it's just a nice uh, you know it's a great little motor would you have to customize your headers I had to, yeah I had to uh, I wound up having to go back to the street beast to get those I had bought a set of headers and side pipes from a guy that had a factory five you know car and they're similar, I mean, there's probably 15 different companies that make these cars. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so he had this same car, and he had those, he said, these fit the best of any that I've tried. Well, that should have been my clue right then, it wasn't gonna work. So sure enough, <clears throat> anyway, so I had to go back to Street Beast, ordered them, and then they get them out of California, and said it'd take nine weeks. So I waited nine weeks, called back, oh yeah, the lady took your uh, took your order, she took your money, but she never put anything on order, and she don't work here anymore. So, yeah. <laughs> I sound like my little yeah, <laughs> yeah. So here we go again. So I had to wait nine more weeks. <clears throat> All right. So I get them, and I had to take them and you know get them uh, ceramic coated. The exhaust is headers coming straight into side pipes. Uh, I wound up having to go back to Street Beast that made the car to get the headers and side pipes they came from California it took me uh, I waited nine weeks for them to get them the first time and, and there was a mix-up with the order so I had to wait another nine weeks then once I got them then I had to take them and get them ceramic coated uh, and everything turned out fine uh, had to modify the side pipes because they had a bracket in my opinion it was on the wrong side the company says, we don't make them look like real Cobras. Well, that's what I'm trying to do. So Kurt Miller, the guy that did the work for me, he was good with a plasma cutter. So he cut that bracket off, relocated it. Everything worked out fine. So yeah. everything's been a challenge. Oh, absolutely, yeah, <laughs> absolutely. But you know, most of your good projects are. They yeah, have, oh, absolutely. have a great outcome. They're yeah, really yeah. Does it uh, happen to run hot? No, it. Uh, I get worried when it's a hundred degrees or so. Uh, the I, I really don't trust the um, the gauge because when it, the motor was in the Mustang, I cranked it up once a week. It never got above 180. It's in here. It's saying it's like 190, maybe 210 or something like that. But I know the mo I know the motor's not running hot. You know, that's, so. that's pretty big radiator. Oh, it, it is. is. Yeah, it's got it two is. electronic fans on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, it's one big well, one. Okay. Yeah. yeah one it's, big it's a okay. like a sixteen, but yeah, it's okay. a big. Now this is the second motor. No, it's just. This is the first. Motor? Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's okay. the, yeah. It's the motor that came out of the Mustang. Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh, let me back. Yeah, let me back up. I know where you're going now. Yeah, I started out with with a 351. A friend of mine had given mm -hmm. me a 351 block, and all that was you know look uh, sounded okay. And, but when I got to looking at the price of it, I bought the Mustang with this motor for 3,000 bucks. Yep. I was looking 5,000 bucks plus for the other. So went back to the 302. Well, when I went back to the 302, we had to change the motor mounts because the 302 sits lower and so forth and so on, but still worked out great. But now my buddy that got the 351, he's got it in a truck now. He had a, his son drag races and so, the guy that builds all their motors built that one. And oh my God, I, I wish it was in the Cobra was now. Was it the Cleveland or the Windsor? Uh, uh, it was a Windsor. Windsor? Yeah. Okay. yeah but it's cranking easy. out over 400, way over 400 horsepower now. Wow. 
So this, I don't, this one's got over 300. I, I know it's got over 300, but um, okay. anyway. Well, I notice it's sitting way back. Do they all sit pretty much yeah, that far they, back? Yeah, they do for whatever reason. And you can see, you know, like the bell housing uh, on the motor. I mean, you know, you got plenty of room. Mm -hmm. Well, and one thing too, you know, most of these cars have big blocks in them. <clears throat> and so, but I, you know, small blocks would get me in enough trouble. I don't need a big yeah. block. And people that's got a big block will tell you they don't handle near as good as a small block will. So, uh, well, the uh, the clutch, mm -hmm. master cylinders, and all that—they're uh -huh. actually in the cockpit with you. No, they're uh, they're right. they're right under here. Okay, so you yeah. got them housed under here. I mm -hmm. noticed I couldn't visualize yeah. them from inside. Right? No, they're they're right under there. I thought it would have been a lot more compact. That's it's really oh, surprising yeah. how much rooms there. I'm oh yeah, especially yeah. battery location. Yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah. Like yeah. And some people put the battery in the trunk, but I mean you can't get uh, the the battery would fill up the trunk. Yeah. I'll yeah. show you that in a while. But uh, anyway, but uh, everything's fine. Beautiful. Yeah. Very pretty car. Cool. Yeah. It's always a, a crowd favorite our car shows. Yeah. A lot of people ask me, is the Cobra coming? Is the Cobra coming? Oh yeah. And I said, well, I'm gonna send them a message and see what can. Yeah. So. I've had uh, ladies that have brought their their daughter that they named Shelby. They say <laughs> they bring it over to the car and said, this is why you're named Shelby. <laughs> so. Now, uh, here's a quick question. Okay. Where's the outside door handle? Don't need any. You know, there's no need for a, you know, uh, no need for a door handle. Just reach over and grab the inside door and open it up. Wow. Uh, the seats are, uh, the, the shell is just a fiberglass shell. A mm -hmm. uh, local uh, interior guy did the interior. I have uh, the Simpson five-point harness. I could have had, went with smaller seat belts, but I tried to keep, you know, just like when they raced these cars, that's the size seat belts they had. Mm -hmm. uh, the shifter head, the Cobra shifter head, uh, I think was originally on a cane, and I had to drill and tap it to make it fit the fit the shifter. Uh, I've got Stuart Warner uh, gauges. This is a Motorita steering wheel. Uh, <clears throat> got a Flaming River uh, steering column, polished stainless steel. Like the wind wings and lots of the other things came from Finish Line products down in Florida, uh, and I tried to make it the best that I could. And my little hula girl, uh, I love her, you know, which I mean, I don't drive around with her all the time, but for car shows, uh, she's there. And, you know, I mean, that's another thing where, I mean, I went over and above because I mean, you can't see much of it, but I wanted, I want it to look right. I mean, you can see the front of it under here where it comes out, you know, uh, you know, where it comes out there and stainless steel, polished stainless steel steering shaft and all that yeah, stuff. You know, even down to the rack and pinion, it's got a chrome pin yeah. across. The, uh, like that. Yeah. <clears throat> the wheels that I have are American Racing Casino wheels. I started out with a set of American Racing wheels that looked like Mustang wheels, the five spoke. But I had a problem with one of the front wheels, and I sent it back to Summit Racing. They sent me seven replacement wheels and could never get one to work right. So I took all those back. I got a different set of wheels. I didn't like those. I wound up going back to Summit Racing and get this Ameri these casino wheels, which I really like because they got the split fork like the Corvettes have, and it just I just like the looks of them. Get lots of compliments on them too. I guess the disc brakes all the way around. Disc brakes all the way around, yeah. Got the 11 inch rotors, I think it is. Same size tires, front and yeah, back? Yeah, yeah, they're 17 inch. There's just a slight difference, you know, not even a quarter of an inch difference from the front and the back, you know. Uh, the decals, talking about the decals, uh, those are static clean decals. I got those from a place in Florida uh, called Finish Line. But anyway, uh, on a fiberglass car, they'll stick, and they've been speed tested up to 80 miles an hour. So, but on a, if it was aluminum body, they come off at 45 miles an hour. Go figure. But I like it. I've been doing it for two years the way it is now. Mm -hmm. And I debated on taking them off. And I'm like, nope, I'm going to leave it. It's going to stay just like it is because it makes it unique. Good choice. Yeah. It's a great choice. I even noticed on your glassware you got Cobra. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Cobra. All that. Yeah. And all that came from Finish Line Products, which that's what they specialize in is, you know, stuff for Cobras. Uh, so, yeah.
Did the kit come with the seats? Yeah, those, those right. Those are the original seats. Uh, feel, feel one of them, and it's, uh, it's just a, you know, it's a thin fiberglass shell. A friend of mine that lives north of Atlanta, I went up to to see his car. He took those seats and threw them in the trash. And man, I can't stand them seats. But I promise you, those the the guy that lives right down the road down here, he did the interior. Those seats are you couldn't ask them to be any more comfortable. I like the stitching in that straight line stitching. Yeah. Right now. You don't see that much. Yeah. Well, that's, yep. that's with the period, too. Yeah, right, exactly. It, it yeah. Kind of yeah, he, yeah. fits right yeah. in. Sure yeah. Does. yeah. Now, the roll bars, are they actually welded to the frame? I have uh, dual roll bars, and the, they're mounted to the frame. Uh, the third leg is mounted to the right above the shock tower. Um, and. Um, my wife said that she wanted a roll bar on her side, so that's why I've got two. And it looks good with two also. Hi, I'm Chastity Evans with Community Bank's Loan Department, and I'm here to help you with any personal loans you may need. We help people like you every day. From automobiles, debt consolidation, or real estate, I'm here to help. Call me and let me see how Community Bank can help you. So stop in and see us at Community Bank of Dublin Lawrence County, the bank that service built where common sense banking never goes out of style. Well, you mentioned the, the trunk earlier. Let's oh, see, yeah. Let's see what size trunk it has. Yeah. <laughs> the trunk is very small. You couldn't put uh, virtually any size spare in there. So that's why I have roadside assistance with my car insurance. So the actual gas tank is housed oh, underneath. Uh-huh, yeah, so it's like yeah. a 17-gallon tank. I'm actually right. surprised there's that much room back yeah. there. Like the yeah. front, there's plenty of oh, room yeah. in the front. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. really surprising. Yeah, sure and uh, these are these are called quick jacks. Uh, when they raced the cars, they had a little cart that had bicycle wheels on the side and a bar in the front. They could put that under the car, push down on it, take uh, and take both rear wheels off or front wheels at the same time. I was going to call them Nerf bumpers. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, they do similar look to that. Well, did they ever furnish a full bumper? Uh, yeah, they, they do have one. It's ugly, but, you I like, know. I like that. Yeah. Now, what they, about your spare tire? I don't have one. I, I see that. Yeah, that's no. That's, that's exactly <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. Well, where in the, in the, uh, in the Cobras, did, did they ever carry a spare tire? that I'm aware of. It was never mounted on the back? Mm -mm. Or no, uh, there was uh, some of the ones that they raced did have a 40 something gallon gas tank though. That's a big gas that tank. That is a big one. Yeah. Yeah. What's the gallon on this one again? I think 17. 17, yeah. okay. Yeah, and it, the the frame, the, the gas tank, everything's all painted that Speedway Blue Metallic. It's all the same. It's a beautiful color. Yeah, I love it. What kind of fuel do you run in it? Does it oh, run high test, no, high, high test. And I only get like 10 miles a gallon, so. Wow. But it's not my daily driver, so who cares? Uh, yeah. <laughs> How many miles you got on? Uh, I have now got 1,449 miles and been on the road, yeah. been driving it four years four now. Years. So well, I'm gonna have to do something about that. Yeah, yeah. I know. I know she's Vietnam uh, tag. Yeah, the, uh, I, what, my last seven months when I was in service, I was in the Navy anyway, I got drafted to go over there. I was a gunner's mate, uh, E-5 gunner's mate. And so I spent seven months over there and I was glad the day we left to come home. So well, We certainly appreciate your service. Thank yeah, you, thank we'll you very do. much. But yeah, and uh, I like that that tag. Uh, uh, and lots of car shows I go to is honoring veterans and stuff, you know, so it's just me showing my support for them and, and me too. Right. So. Yeah. Enjoy that. Yeah, I saw over in the display case you have a Wounded Warriors trophy. Yeah, this is where I got best to show at Bass Pro Shops. And um, I believe it was, might have been 2013. But what's so special, I mean, other than being just an incredibly beautiful trophy, I got frustrated with my car. And I took it to Atlanta to a place that sells stuff like this. And I left it there from February until the 1st of August. <clears throat> and, you know, it didn't sell, didn't even get any offers. And the guy said, well, it's hard to sell a car with no top with all the rain we've had. <laughs> so I went up there on a Tuesday, got it, went to Bass Pro Shops on Saturday, won Best of Show. 
I told my wife, I said, that's where this car belongs, is in car shows. Amen. Exactly. And so that was the end of that conversation. Meant well, to be. Meant to be, yeah. <laughs> now, uh, where was your first car show? Uh, at Moore Station. <laughs> uh, yeah, and that's the trophy for it yeah. right now, Mr. there. Mr. Russell's being a little modest, uh, y'all. <laughs> it actually says best of show. He got best of show with this one. Yeah. That's an honor. That is a oh, that's, that's, that's yeah. a big show. It is. I mean, it's just, I was just speechless today that I got that. So, <laughs> uh, and I think this one, this one came from Plains, Georgia. Uh, yeah, this is from Plains. Best of show. That's yeah, best of show. Best of show. And uh, that's where I got best of show for paint up there on that one, other one, the Road Rebels and Warner Robins. Uh, you know, so. Uh, I'm very proud of everything I've won. You know, it's just it's fun to do. Um, and I I have been skunked <laughs> once or twice. The the show that I did uh, up in Warner Robins, the day I got wet, I didn't win anything. It's like the two judges came and they were nodding and all that stuff, and the mayor come over and wanted and had me crank it up for him and and everything and. Didn't win nothing, so I told him why. So I guess some guys said, "Yeah, let's be sure not to give this guy a trophy." <laughs> so, but that's just the way it is. So. Well, I'd find it hard not to score this one high with a score sheet. Okay. Yeah. Because I mean, it's perfection. Yeah. Saying, I've seen a lot of cars. And oh yeah. Wouldn't you say, Mike? That's, that's yeah. Beautiful. Very beautiful. Uh, Mr. Rutherford, that owns Rutherford Trophies, he loves my car, and he. I was at a car show. Uh, at Rigby's and Warner Robins, and he told me, he says, I'm judging for best of show today. He said, but the, I'm going to show you the reason you're not going to win it today. And there was a little bit of dirt or something on the uh, distributor, you know. But the next car show, I said, check my distributor out. Right. It's clean, you know. <laughs> but I appreciate people yeah. tell me stuff like that, exactly. you know. Because, you know, I guess we all get a little lazy every now and then, might That's forget right. to. Well, it's funny yeah. how some people. They'll look at one thing different oh, yeah. than the next person. Absolutely. They'll see something yeah. wrong here where they, the other person yeah. wouldn't. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And, and you never know. Yeah. And if you notice on the on the uh, air cleaner, uh, I've got 289 high performance. Because if you think about it in 66, 289 you know, was. So I've got it period correct for that, that's too. Right. Mm -hmm. So that's my little sleeper motor. Listen up, grown-ups. Now that you have switched to natural gas, here are some important things to know. There are a lot of stinky odors around the house, but if you ever smell the odor of natural gas in the air, which is similar to rotten eggs, leave immediately and simply call 911 or your local natural gas provider. If mom or dad need to dig outside, be sure to call 811 before you dig. Grown-ups, take this responsibility seriously. We depend on you to keep us safe. I got to know how fast this one will go. Oh, Mini B uh, doesn't go too fast, but <laughs> the first car show I took him to was in Soperton, and I didn't have the little driver in there, and kids kept trying to jump in it all day long. So anyway, when they gave the trophy out, they said, this is not for the big car, this is for the little car. Wow. I mean, folks loved it. So then uh, the little driver we had, it was like a little pouty baby, so I found him some overhauls. <clears throat> I've had him, uh, he has been wearing a leather jacket, but it's got too hot for him, so we took that <laughs> off. And he got him some some, some uh, yeah. Cobra, Cobra sleeves on for now. I took him out to uh, a little daycare place the other day for all the little kids about that big to look at it. And they loved it. But what got me was, they were looking, they said, look, he's got shoes on. I said, yeah. Well, he's, I said, he's got a gas pedal and a brake that he has to work. <laughs> and, uh, and I told him I didn't have the battery. So they said, well, next time you come, bring the battery. We'll want to drive that thing. <laughs> so anyway, but I've got a custom tag that says Mini Me. And it's just been a great hit. Uh, and I found a place in Macon to duplicate the graphics because some of those are about not bigger than a quarter. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, anyway. But uh, perf great perfect video. addition to it. Oh, event. absolutely, and yeah. Car show. Yeah, and uh, when I uh, like when I go to Dublin to the car show there, my wife has to call haul Mini Me in her car, you know. <laughs> and but and then if I go on long shows, I put him in the trailer, you know. But she's my my wife is my support staff, and she's been very good to to help me. 
What they say, every kind of every good man's a good woman. That's right. And that picture my son gave to me for Father's Day this year, and uh, he's a professional photographer. And anyway, but we shot that at Dykes Landing, and that's printed on metal. It's a 20 by 30 inch print, and uh, it's it's just it's just beyond words to me how beautiful that that is. And uh, you know, it it hangs prominently in the house, though. So. Very yeah. proud of it. He did a very good job with that. Yeah. Mr. Russell, thank you very much for letting us come out to your garage tonight. I enjoyed it. And uh, what's your next project? There isn't one right now. <laughs> there isn't one. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, lots of people tell you that this is their dream car. I can't say this is my dream car. My dream car is a 34 Ford. And if I ever find it, then that may be my next project. But... Uh, you know, uh, for now, this is this is my project. Yeah. I mean, after taking over four years to build it, that was that's a lifetime to me. You know, so I've had all I wanted to do for now. Well, we sure appreciate it. Yeah. Uh, spending the time with me and Mike this afternoon and going over it. And ladies and gentlemen, we sure appreciate y'all uh, watching us. You don't can only watch it here on TV 35, but you can also watch it at TV 35.tv. Appreciate it, Mr. Russell. Enjoyed it. Enjoyed. Thank you. Wilford. Get more excitement, more innovation, more reasons to celebrate during Dublin Nissan's Free to Choose event. At Dublin Nissan, you're free to choose. Nissan Altima starting at $18,988 or 72 months at 0%. All new Murano's and Rogue's, 60 months with no interest. Dublin Nissan, the only dealer you will ever need.